how to clear out logs on a, uh, a short gear V switch. Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to download WinSCP. And I have downloaded WinSCP. It's a free app. Basically, it does secure file transfer protocol. And I'll bring it up here. Okay, so WinSCP, I'm going to click on here. I'm going to hit edit. Make sure I'm using SFTP, not SCP. The address um, of the switch, 22, which is the port for SFTP. Admin, you can no longer log in as root. And the password is shortel, capital S, capital T. And I'm going to hit login. Once I log in, it's going to give me sort of a web-based or an FTP-based application. What I want to do here is focus on the right-hand side. The left-hand side is my desktop. The right-hand side um, is where I want to go back up to. So I'm going to hit the arrow up. I want to get back to keep hitting arrow up till I hit compact flash. Compact flash, and then I'm going to click on the shoreline data folder, and I'm going to click on the log section. Okay, and the log section here will actually tell you all the logs, and you can sort by size to find out which ones are the biggest ones. Now, what you want to do is anything that has sort of a seven digit or has three days worth of information. So if you sort by name, you'll see things like these boot log messages. I wouldn't delete these. What I'm going to do is the CSI, CIS, CSIS, um, the DBHS, anything that's keeping track. And you can tell it's three days because you look at the, the tag or the file extension. You'll see that, um, for instance, let's look here. That is the 13th of July, 2012, 13th of July, 2013. Uh, sorry, wrong way. 2013th, July 12th, 2013th, July 13th, 2013, July 14th. Okay. If I wanted to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these folders. Okay. And these are the only ones that you want to actually delete. The other ones here, uh, for instance, let's see the CSIS. You know, the log trace, uh, monitoring agents, all that sort of stuff. Um, and what you could do if you're just not comfortable deleting these logs is get rid of everything but the current day. Okay, so for instance, I'm going to just use this, uh, this one here, monitoring agent. So today is the 15th, so I'm going to get rid of all these. Now what I can do here is I can take all these and I can copy to my desktop. Okay, or I can just pull it to my desktop and move them to my desktop so I have a copy of them in case. And then I'll take a look and see if they're on my desktop and they're probably on my other screen. And then I'll go in here and I will just delete, delete those files and those files are gone. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna tell you that you have how many files you have left. So then you can go back in your shoreware director and check to see if there's any space that's uh, cleared up on your server. It may require you to stop and restart the services on the switch um, just to clean it up, but if you sort by size here, it's going to give you the, the longest, you know, the largest ones. And if you're not sure, make sure you contact support or talk to Shortel um, or Land Intelligence Support.
and now I've set up file based music on hold. Now all you have to do is call and then test it out. <laughs> 